The Story of Jubilee Chapter, Chapter one. 1 Safe and Sound Once upon a time, our neighborhood had a problem. It was scary to go outside because some people did bad things. They might beat you up, or try to sell you drugs, or try to shoot at you. People who lived here were sad. A couple of dilapidated houses over here, some apartments over there, you know, that were uh, drug infested. You, you could hear gunshots, and it was, it was just wild. It was out of control. Um, and we didn't even have a street. My street was not a street. It wasn't a, even a sidewalk. It was a dirt road. The neighbors back off over in their houses, they stayed in their houses, you know. They didn't come out, you know, a lot. And, and then I realized why they didn't come out. It was dangerous. This was a great chance to take a finite area, 62 blocks, and call it Jubilee Park and then concentrate everything in that particular area to make it great, to revitalize it, rather than just flapping your gums that we're gonna be doing something uh, and uh, just wait. Wait a year, wait 10 years, wait a generation, and things will change. People can't wait. Time's wasting. Lives are being lost. Reducing crime drastically in the neighborhood has been a real game changer because when people feel that their children are unsafe when they walk the streets or that they can't be allowed to play outside, there's not anything that you can do to build a neighborhood. So Walt worked with the city and got a special prosecutor assigned to this neighborhood along with a code enforcement officer and we began. The one story comes to my mind more than anything else was that we had a big picnic with hot dogs, real hot dogs. There was this little boy, Afri African-American boy. I held out my arms and he came to me. And it was one of the proud moments of my life, you know, because we were gonna become a part of this organization out here, this community out here. And sure enough, it happened that way. Today, we feel safe to go outside. We fly kites. I play with my friends. I'm happy people don't do as many bad things anymore. Chapter 2, Home Sweet Home. A house should be a safe place to live. If it's all full of holes, someone could get in, and it would be cold in the winter, or you could hurt yourself. I'll tell you how you know when you're winning the crime battle, when people put flowers on their porch. If you drive through here today, you see homes with flowers on their porch that never were there before. We have a street now. We have sidewalks. We have uh, neighbors that, you know, care for their, their land. We have uh, gotten a better connection with our police. Um, they ride, you know, they come through, and I know quite a few of them now. And so it makes me feel safer. The city of Dallas has been an amazing partner as we move forward with our housing initiative. We're actually a national model for uh, affordable housing in the North Texas area. We're the only housing model that does LEED Silver certified homes in the North Texas area as well. Jubilee is also the only affordable housing initiative that does pre and post home buyer education for our residents so they are secured and ready to be homeowners. We have multifamily senior housing at Gurley Place. We have single family uh, homes on Ann Avenue and we also have custom built homes on Congo. So we're really taking into effect everybody's wants and needs and trying to meet the wishes of the community. Two or three good houses make a street good. Two or three good streets make a neighborhood good. And it just grows and grows and the whole city is good. Chapter three, healthy and happy. It's hard to learn new things if you're hungry or sick. To stay healthy, you have to eat your fruits and vegetables and play outside and sometimes go to the doctor. The impact that we can have in having longer programs and of course sustainable programs are going to help not only Jubilee in furthering our mission statement, but also assist the community members in achieving their own personal goals. 
We just secured a new partnership with Jewish Family Services where we're able to offer mental health services into our 62 block area. And we have a new partnership with Agape Clinic where we're also able to add uh, general medicine, dental, vision, hearing, and dermatology resources to our community as well. It really is a place where you can connect with your community. And I think that that's important in any neighborhood um, coming together especially in a, in a world in a times like this. I know Jubilee has um, added so many different activities. My grandmother, my father, my mom, they come. I mean, the Jubilee just is awesome and it's, it's great to have been able to see it from the beginning and now to see, you know, it's inclusive of the entire neighborhood. It's not just for the kids, it's for the whole family. Today, everybody's proud of Jubilee Park and they come here, they work together and it's all a community effort that is tremendous. So, you know, go, go, Jubilee Park. Jubilee, 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 me encantaba ayudar. Fui voluntaria por un tiempo y después me ofrecieron poquito trabajo y yo con mucho gusto acepté. This Martha always makes lunch or dinner for us. She makes sure we eat our fruits and vegetables. We get a run and play outside, and we even have a soccer and basketball team. Sometimes I see my mommy outside exercising with her friends. I like it when she smiles and dances. I like Jubilee after school because we get to understand everything we learn that day. My teacher helps me with my homework and I get to play with my friends. The after school program here at Jubilee serves kinder through teens. Our satellite site on Roberts Elementary, we have kinder through fifth. We give them a hot lunch five days a week. And then a little recess, eye station intervention, and homework time. There's two things that really drive the direction of programming here at Jubilee. It's data and community input. And the community input we were getting was, hey, we really enjoy the adult education courses, but how do I communicate more effectively to find employment and to secure employment? So what Jubilee's done is we've actually worked in partnership with Dallas County Community College District to launch a program here called Jubilee U. And the whole process with this is to get adults comfortable with transitioning into a college setting. It's important to do good in school because then you can get a good job and your family will be happier. When I grow up, I want to sell people fresh food at the store. Chapter 5. Celebrate Love Dream. Julie is 20 years old. That's a long time. You can tell a lot of people love this neighborhood. Everybody cares about each other, and we are nice to our neighbors. Everybody should stick together. If you don't, someone can get lost or left behind. One of Ben's vision was to create a program for children with learning differences. We are so excited to be able to now, or soon, offer a specialized student support program at Jubilee. Our S3 program, or specialized student support, is going to be the first and only mainstreamed after school and summer camp for children with learning differences. And some of those learning differences might include dyslexia, they may include being on the autism spectrum. Sometimes behavioral issues can lead to learning differences as well. So our hope is to be able to, with the help of Jewish Family Service, conduct assessments on the children involved in our program and really find out what is preventing them from being able to fully learn in an academic environment. Jubilee is like a family and our city is like a family. If we stick together and help each other, we all do better. Jubilee helps me, and I love to go there. I love my students, and I just want them to know that, you know, I'm there to help. I came back to Warren Roberts because I love where I came from. Hopefully, they can look back at the people that made an impact in their lives and want that as well. I really hope that the Jubilee can continue to provide the tools um, that the kids need today to give them a little bit of hope to let them know that they have a future um, because that's definitely something that Jubilee instilled in me. What we need to do is celebrate, love, and dream. All of us, the volunteers and the residents working together in a partnership. Jubilee celebra 20 años de amor. Yes! When I get bigger, 
I want to help Jubilee too. Celebrate love.